it's really important right now that all of us pay attention to this. This virus is, is spreading. It's spreading in all of us. And we need to take those actions, and we can take those actions, which keep ourself, uh, which make a difference to control the impact the virus is going to have both on ourselves and on those we are closest to, that we are more likely to spread it to. This means we need your help to make sure that you are taking the actions you need to do and notifying people around you if you are uh, positive for, for, um, for COVID-19. In addition, our testing centers are at their maximum capacity. We did over 20,000 PCR tests yesterday, and that's the maximum that we can do. So I want to be very clear. Do not go to a testing center unless you have symptoms. And then we need to preserve the more accurate PCR testing for those who really need it. The testing centers are not for pre-travel screening, nor do they give you a green light to spend time with others. We've talked about this before, but this is more important than ever. A negative test is not a green light. All of our testing is for people who have symptoms or for people who need to rule out and for people who need to rule out that it is COVID. So this is important right now more than anything. The testing centers are to confirm that someone with symptoms of the virus has COVID-19 or to rule it out for those key workers like healthcare workers or emergency responders who need to be able to go into work. I encourage everybody to go to the BC CDC symptom checker online. It's a good tool to use to help you understand if you need to get a test. Right now, our PCR tests need to be used for those who are at highest risk. So that means people who are older, um, over age 65, people who have underlying illnesses, and people with more severe symptoms where this makes a difference in how they get treated and access to treatment. So that is the first priority at our treatment centres, and as well to uh, test people, people with symptoms who are hospital workers, emergency responders, and others who need this. Rapid testing is also now being used to supplement our PCR testing at many of our testing centres. It's also being used in a number of different settings like remote communities to really determine if COVID has made it to those communities. Rapid testing will be used again for people with symptoms to help you understand what you need to do. It will be uh, mostly targeted to people who are younger with milder symptoms without risk factors for more severe disease. Given the rate of transmission that we are seeing, if you have any symptoms of COVID-19, Omicron is different now. If you have any symptoms, you must assume you have COVID and take measures to avoid passing it on. If you are younger, and vaccinated and no other risk factors, you don't necessarily need a test. You just need to take these actions now. If you are fully vaccinated and have mild symptoms, you should assume you are positive, stay home and stay away from others for seven days. If you are not fully vaccinated and don't have other underlying risk factors, you must isolate for 10 days. And this is because we know that vaccination helps us manage these infections more rapidly, so we shed less fires for a shorter period of time. You should, as well, notify your close contacts, and that's people that you've spent time with, particularly indoors, in close proximity without wearing masks, and they need to monitor for 14 days to check for symptoms themselves. Anybody who is unvaccinated who you've had close contact with if you have symptoms and positive for COVID needs to stay away from others and monitor and self-isolate for 10 days.